We're standing in the Royal BC Museum's Pocket Gallery, which right now is featuring this brand new dinosaur, Ferrosaurus sustenensis. So I think it's really exciting. This is a unique dinosaur for British Columbia. It's our first unique dinosaur species found nowhere else in the world so far. And um, it really highlights that there's a lot of potential for even more dinosaur discoveries down the road if we look hard enough. Ferrosaurus is a plant eater. We don't have any parts of the skull, but we know based on the bones that we do have that it was part of this group of dinosaurs called the Leptoceratopsid. It's not necessarily a very easy word to say, but they're sort of little cousins of more famous dinosaurs like Triceratops. They had a parrot-like beak and a very short frill and no horns on the face. Uh, they were plant eaters and they probably mostly walked on four legs, but might have been able to get around on two legs sometimes. So this was found from uh, a railway line along the Sustut River back in 1971 by a geologist who was prospecting for economically valuable minerals. Uh, he discovered these bones laying along the rubble pile of the railway that was in construction. Um, and it's really important for specimens like this to be in museum because it means that researchers like myself um, and across the world can come and access and study them and that we can put them on display for the public for everybody to enjoy. When I first started looking at this dinosaur while I was an undergrad a couple of years ago, um, I was really early in my career and so I knew it was a dinosaur but couldn't quite figure out exactly what type it was. Now I've got a little bit more experience behind me and I've been able to work with some great colleagues who know this group of dinosaurs and uh, collectively we just have been able to figure out that it's a new species. Uh, something we suspected early on, but now we've got the data and the information to back it up. So things like the uh, shape and size of the toe bones helped us narrow down like what kind of uh, group of dinosaurs it belonged to. And then we were able to look at really fine details of the arm bones and the toe bones to figure out that it was a new species. I think it's incredibly exciting. I mean, I think it's really wonderful when there is a new dinosaur discovery anywhere in the world. Um, but I think it's particularly special for British Columbia because this is not something we get to learn about every day here. And I hope that this is just the beginning of many more discoveries like this in the province.